Welcome back to the Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook with Wade Middleton. We're getting an inside look and fishing updates from Wade. And there's one more key element to bringing in a big fish to your boat. You know, there's, there's a lot of things in fishing that I think are, are very important. Um, you know, obviously you've got to have the right kind of line, you've got to have the right kind of bait. You know, rod and reel is capable of performing uh, to the task when you're out there. But hooks are something that allow all of that to work better. Uh, having the right size hooks on a crankbait to ensure that action. Having the, the right size hook on you know, any soft plastic bait that's going to allow you to get the right kind of action, but also give you the proper um, hook set up. You know, not overpowering, not having too big a hook, not having too small a hook. These are things that are, are so very important that I believe in fishing and it's often understood. Some hooks bend, some hooks don't bend. Some hooks you want to have a little give to them. Some you don't want any give at all in my opinion. Some you want to be smaller, some you want to be bigger, but one thing for sure, you want the sharpest possible hook that you can find and that's where a laser trocar uh, has, has found its way into my tackle box. There is no question about it that it takes the least amount of pressure uh, when you're using a trocar hook to be able to penetrate a fish's mouth and get a hook up. And it doesn't matter whether you're saltwater fishing or bass fishing in, in freshwater. You want a hook that's going to penetrate easily. You want something that's going to penetrate simply with just uh, you know the little subtle lift up because sometimes you're catching fish you don't even know bit. And that's where a hook really plays a big role. Brent Chapman, a past BASS Angler of the Year, has, has gave him a lot of insight over the past about hooks. And we're gonna spend a little bit of time on the water learning from Brent now about what he thinks when it comes to choosing the right hook. About time. Nice, there we go. Good work. There are some fish in here. Look at and that. I, and I at least know how to catch some. <laughs> That never gets old, you know? I know, it's the funnest thing in the world. <laughs> First fish of the day. Much, yeah, Trocar did the job right through Man, the top. all the way through, look at that. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. When you want to hook one, that's where you want them, in the top of that head, and I mean, it, it did the job. It came all the way through. Yeah, you know, there, and there's a perfect example. A lot of people don't realize this about a hook, though. But see how I'm really having to work to get that back out? Mm -hmm. This is great. You know, you want that good point on there, but people kind of forget about the barbs. Right, right. See that? I mean, that's that barb is what keeps them from throwing it. And when I got to get and really work that thing out of there, then it's the hook has yep. definitely sold me there. But pretty fish. Yes, it is. Now it's your turn. All right. 